Welcome back mm -hmm. to Everyday Iowa. Our first guest this morning named the 2023 Corridor Business Journal's Entrepreneur of the Year, one of her many <laughs> awards and honors. Candace Luter of Candace Luter Arts and Interiors joins the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank of course, you. we have to talk about all your awards and honors. <laughs> first, you have a very interesting backstory. Can you give us a little bit about your history and background? Yes. So I have no design background whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So let me just be clear about that. <laughs> but strength yeah. and conditioning. I, I wouldn't lead with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like the worst <laughs> business person ever, right? Um, strength and conditioning okay. background from mm -hmm. Co College. Did okay. the whole corporate America yeah. thing. Was a broker at Ruckel Collins for mm -hmm. a number of years. And then I thought, you know what? What's the heck let me do the farmers market downtown and uh -huh. that's kind of yeah. how I got my first start and then from there decided to put some things out on Etsy and the rest was history and it is history well, and, <laughs> yeah. okay. you, you, I want to I'll talk about you in a moment but Etsy this is a thing yes I mean would you say it's helped steer your career or you use it as a tool to steer your career you know it was interesting I feel like the older I've gotten I feel like I have nothing to lose mm -hmm. so it was sort of let me just put myself out there yeah. and see what happens um, and I didn't realize at the time that that's where a lot of retailers were looking for new businesses to bring mm -hmm. onto their platform so I was kind of in shock and overwhelmed at the same time because mm -hmm. this was just yeah. a hobby turned full-blown business so sure. See, I didn't know that either. I learned something so, new. Yeah, now, here yeah. we are. You're, you're an entrepreneur of the year. How did it all, so you, you farmer's market, Etsy, and then take us to where we are now here in October. Yeah, so this, again, was sort of like a side hustle because mm -hmm. I was working a full-time job. Mm -hmm. um, and 2019 mm -hmm. is really where I started, so this is all fairly still new. Um, and then I lost my job during the pandemic and thought, well, let me just jump into this full-time because I already had mm -hmm. a, a good customer base. And we ended up tripling our sales that year, and I thought, okay, I think we're onto something. <laughs> and then from there, we just just started getting picked up by different retailers and then we entered some award competitions mm -hmm. and won those and so it's just been an, an incredible ride. So what is like what inspires you? Do you have things that this piece inspires me or thoughts that yeah. inspire me, pictures? Um, originally I just couldn't find what I was looking for mm -hmm. locally mm -hmm. yeah. um, for the decor and things that I was into uh -huh. so I was just making them for myself for my house and kind of just use those as the examples and the prototypes to put out there and it just kind of resonated with wow. other people. Um, I'm just making this up as I go along. <laughs> You know, you, you look back to like the, the early 2000s and the mm -hmm. mid 2000s where it's like live, laugh and love was on every wall. <laughs> don't you know? do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's like the Tupperware of interiors. What are people doing now? What, what's the hot trend for decorating and, and designing homes and rooms? Well, lately, I think we've kind of taken a back seat to a lot of color and have really gone back to the neutrals, mm -hmm. beige, a lot of texture and things like that. So I always say when in doubt and you aren't sure what to do, just add texture, add, add beige, and you'll be good to go. What about okay. accent walls? Are those still a thing? Please tell me you have a red accent wall in your house. <laughs> Promise me. <laughs> I used to. We did you? We all had to. one. We yes. all had oh, yeah. one. Yes. It, it's, yeah. it's like a... It's a Coffee-ish, brownish color. Okay, now. I'll let that and slide. And a I'll grand let that piano. Slide. It's very. Chris <laughs> yeah. and Justin have been to the house. This it's like, yeah, it's like the hotel, the lobby. I love you know? it. Yeah. You Is know, that normal though? Yes. You know, I think yeah. we're still doing accent walls, but okay. believe it or not, people are getting back into wallpaper. I know, I hate to say yeah. it, we'll call it really? coverings and spice yeah. it up. But yeah, I mean, the, you've got removable wallpaper. We're not only mm. just, you know, using the glue and paste anymore and things like that. And so okay. it's easy to refresh. It's easy to just pop some things on. So you can have your accent wall. I will let you have that. Okay. Right, let, let's so, be honest. On, is it really removable? I mean, is it? Because we've all been a part of. <laughs> you had to get the steamer out. Yes, you to, you know, you're right. Call in, you know, your local, uh, you know, mm -hmm. religious oh. authority to try to get it exactly. off the wall. Exactly. It is. I have tried a couple brands. I can't speak for all of them, um, but they are removable, and it did not take any paint mm -hmm. off my wall. So okay. I can okay. say it's come a long way. It's gotten a lot better. Okay. I think we need to talk about her awards because that yes. list was long <laughs> and amazing. So tell us about some of those. Of course, we know the Entrepreneur yes. of the Year, which is incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I entered um, an Etsy Design Awards. They mm -hmm. do it every year. Um, I entered that in 2021. Uh, mm -hmm. We were the grand prize winner. It's a global competition, uh, and we were lucky enough to win $20,000 for our business which was incredible um, and then that same year I was also asked by Target to design a black um, history month decor collection which was incredible um, and so there were several products that were in over 855 stores nationwide oh, wow. um, and it really mm -hmm. kind of put us on the mm -hmm. map so 
you know, fast forward, we've got so many mm -hmm. things in the pipeline, some things yeah. I can't talk about, um, but <laughs> things are getting very exciting, and I'm just yeah. so um, honored and privileged to be able to put Cedar Rapids on the map. We have 30 yeah. seconds left, two mm -hmm. fi final questions. Okay. First of all, will you come back? Second yes. question, yes, absolutely. how can people get a hold of you to have you come work your magic? Yes, so they can find me on my website, www.candiceluter.com, and then they can also follow along on Etsy as well, um, Candice Luter. So okay. I want to say also thanks to my team. I seriously could not do it without them. We want you to come back when we, we get do. closer to the holidays. Talk Absolutely. About some oh, let's do it. That's a could, great right? idea. That's a great yep, idea. Let's do it. Thanks, Candace. Thank you so thanks. much. We're going to see a lot more of her on this yeah. program. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you very much. Meantime,